Hello and welcome to another Adobe Illustrator CS6 lesson on how to create a word cloud. A word cloud can be used uh, for all kinds of reasons. Uh, vocab for a science chapter, a novel, um, you know, a project all about you, all about a certain culture, a certain city, a country, anything you're interested in. You can put together a, a group of vocabulary and then illustrate it in, in a way like you're seeing in front of you here. You can use a variety of colors, a variety of different fonts, and a variety of directions. So it's you know horizontal, vertical, or even angled, and different colors. And then you can have a background color if you want. So this is just one example. Here's another example. Uh, this one uses a black background and probably five or six different colors in here in total um, different sizes and this is kind of about uh, you know doing presentations and I got another one here it's about the elephant so it puts in all kinds of words about the elephant and it's in the shape of an elephant and I'm going to show you how to do that as well as how to work with the text uh, this one looks like it's in the shape of a continent and then they've got all kinds of words to describe that one then we've got this in a shape of some letters. And this one's in the shape of a maple leaf. So there's all kinds of examples for you here. And one that I've created just about family. So we wrote out the word family and then put in all kinds of uh, words about the family. So there you go. Let's just turn all those layers off. This is something that you'll you won't have to use as much but it's really good to know how to use the layer palette and the layer palette can be found here. Anytime that you lose palettes and this can happen pretty easy like I did this and I moved this out and then I closed it and then my layer palette's gone you go to window workspace and reset essentials. Okay so that's an easy way to deal with it. So now my layer palette is back. I'm going to turn everything off. And in fact, I'm going to lock everything. So it's a good idea to always know what layer you're on. You can even rename them. So I'm just going to add a layer here by create new layer. You wouldn't have to do that to start with because you already have one. So I'm just going to create a new layer to work on. And I'm just going to call this examples. So the first thing we're going to learn how to do is deal with text. So over on the left are your tools here, and you find the T-Tool. So the, And there are a variety of different types of T-Tools. Right now I'm text tools. I'm holding the mouse down with my uh, left click, and you can do a type tool, a type area tool, type on a path tool, uh, vertical type tool. So, and I'll show you some more of this later, but right now we'll just start off with the type tool. So if you ever accidentally click and hold and get on this, and then you try and do it, it won't work. It just means you're on the wrong kind of tool. So click and hold, and notice when I hold still, it even tells me what kind of tool it is. Click and hold, and I get my type tool. Type tool, I just click and drag a box. So I'm holding my finger down on the left position of the mouse, and then I can just start typing. So I'm just gonna type out my name. So I typed Henry, then I highlight Henry with my mouse, I click and drag over it, and I go to the character palette right here. And then I can hit my character palette, and I can just go down and it even shows you what they look like. Now you might not have the same fonts as me because you're at a different position, but let's say I want to put it in impact. And then I can change the size of it, but I can change how far they are apart. See how it spreads them apart more? And there you go. That's a font. Now, for rotating things, it actually makes it better to change things into a drawing object. Right now, this is a font object, but if we change it into a drawing object by going type and create outlines, while it is selected with the black arrow tool, type create outlines, now I can't change the font anymore. Notice the character palette is now gone. I can't change the font, but watch this. I can resize it. I can move my mouse near a corner or an end. 
not on it because that's for resizing because you can resize this way you can make it skinnier you can make it longer but if I move it near an end it goes to that double curved arrow and I can rotate it you can also rotate by going to the object and you can go transform and rotate and you can rotate it 90 degrees if you want object transform rotate you can object rotate it 45 degrees if you want and I did that with my keystrokes and then I've got it there okay so that's how you rotate things I don't want to show you too many things at once but if you want you can experiment so here's a reflect All right it turns it upside down now I didn't like that so I'm gonna go edit undo but instead I'm gonna do something I always do and a good thing to learn by holding the control key down and then clicking Z that's edit undo so anytime you mess up make a mistake just hit control Z if you don't like what you did control Z it's a super useful keystroke to know now what if you wanted to have two Henry's control C and control V that is copy and then paste Control V sounds weird because you'd think it would be Control P, but Control P is already used for print. So Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Now let's have some fun with colors. There's two different colors involved here. Even though you only see black, it's because we have a stroke color of nothing. So this is the fill color. And you can use this, but I like using the swatches more. And I can change the color I want. Now if I want to change the stroke color, this just box here, you got to click it to bring it forwards and then I can choose a stroke color and blue would go well with pink. And then you can put an outline around it. Now if you don't like the thickness of the outline, you go here and you can increase or decrease the thickness or just tur turn it off completely. Now, then you take another text tool, type what you want, highlight it, go to the character palette, set a font, whatever you want. There's all kinds. You can try this. And then you're going to go black arrow tool to click on it. Type, create outlines, set your colors and then move them where you want. Resize them using the corner handles. Now what if you wanted to keep the aspect ratio of resizing something exact? That means for every bit you make it wider, you make it taller. All you gotta do is hold the shift key down to do that while you click and drag, and then it, ha it cannot get bigger, okay? So that's how you do text. Now let's talk about how you would create a template for something to go over if you wanted to create a shape okay so we'll look at that you already know how to make all the words I'm just gonna hit delete and delete these words and I'm gonna go back to my layer palette and I'm gonna show you what I did for that so I'm gonna turn off this examples and I'm gonna go way down to the bottom and there's my template so what I did here was I took a font, I'm going to unlock it, and I just typed the word family with all caps. Then I chose my font. Let's say I'm going to stay in this font, and I went type create outlines. Then I went like this to drag it really big. But then I switched so that there's no fill in it. And then I did that on a layer that was below it. And I'll go back to this one. And I'll delete the second one I made. And you can see what I did was I just took all these letters and made them fit into here. And I could leave it with this. Or I could leave it. Uh, with that stroke around it or I could turn that off but I use that to do a template okay so I'm gonna close I'm gonna go up here 
I'll turn everything off. Let's say I wanted to do it in a heart. Uh, go to the internet, find a picture, paste it on here by going Control V again for paste, and then do a layer above it, and then I could put words in the heart. So that's pretty easy to do. All you'd have to do is go on the internet, google.ca, click on images, Okay, do a heart. I can click on this one. Right click, copy, go to Microsoft, uh, sorry, Adobe Illustrator. Go control V. Place that there, lock that layer, put a layer above it, and then start using my text tool to make things go inside. Now this one becomes kind of tricky because it has curved lines. So this is a harder way to do things, but check this out. Besides the text tool, there is a type on a path tool, okay? So instead of a line tool, I might try and take an arc tool. And then I could take a type on a path tool and I click on it and then I'll say, Heart. And then I'll go type grade outlines. And then I can change the color I want on it. And then what would it look like eventually if I turn this off? Eventually I could have letters that go all around it with that arc tool or a pen tool to make things draw. If I wanted a zigzag, I could go like this. That's with my pen tool. And then I could take a type on a path tool. And you just type words on it and it will just follow that letter, follow that line. So that's how you draw with a curved line. Now let's go back to this family one again. I'm going to turn that one on. And I'm going to duplicate that layer so I have my keep my colored one. Then I'm going to put a layer down here that goes underneath a family layer. And I want to have this one as a black background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a rectangle tool. I'm just going to click and drag over the whole thing. Now unfortunately I had some black letters in there. So what I'm going to do is go back on the family layer turn that one off, go like that, and I'm going to select over all of the letters, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them white with no stroke. Can't see it here, but as soon as I go back to my layer palette, I can turn back on my black, and there you have family in black and white. I could have kept it all kinds of different colors, and now I could just do this. Take this one, make it red. You know, anything that's going to look get good. Oops, what did I do? I changed the stroke. I need to bring the fill forward. So I've got a red fill, you know, and maybe every couple I'll make it that red. Now if I want to select more than one thing at once, check this out. Hold the shift key down. I'm going to take Charlene, and Musical, and Cliff, and this one, and Love, and Guitar, and I'm going to make them all red. Then I'm going to take Henry, and Verbeek, and Adrian, and Scott, and Music, and make it pink. And it's looking pretty cool. So there's so many choices. A lot of it's up to you. 
try changing fonts try changing sizes of letters you could just do it as a cloud or you could do it in the shape of something else it, just look for direction from your teacher on what it is they want they'll tell you how many words they want they'll tell you whether they want them in color or it can just be in black and white it's up to them so that is how to create a word cloud with lots of different choices thanks for watching